Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Web Gear Review. I am your host, the Web Gear Guy, and today uh, I would like to thank you for watching this channel. Hit that subscribe and like button if you like this kind of content. And why don't you leave me a comment to let me know what you have in your collection or what you're working on at this time. But anyway, this video here, I want to show you how to assemble uh, the knapsack pack. Okay, and uh, what you need to assemble the knapsack pack is, is first of all, you need a knapsack. What we have here is a second pattern United States Marine Corps knapsack made by the Boyd Company. Alrighty, so we got the knapsack, and then we need you need a pistol belt of some sort. This is an M1936 pistol belt. Uh, it is U.S. Army. I apologize. I do not have a United States Marine Corps one, but this uh, this will work for the uh, the video to show you uh, what's going on here, okay, and how to do it. Uh, another thing, you will need two uh, pack suspenders, Marine Corps pack suspenders, and we happen to have two of them right here. Now, this assembly is according to the uh, United States Marine Corps M1941 booklet called the pack that they issued to the soldiers back in uh, World War II. But anyway, let's get on with the video. Okay, first of all, make sure I'm working upside down, so bear with me. So get your belt in position, okay? And it's easy to find the center of your belt. You can count the eyelets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so right here is the center of the belt. So I've got the center of the belt on the center of the pack. Okay, now take your uh, pack uh, belt suspenders here. Be sure you run these through at the right orientation that when you take these up and over the back of the Marine, uh, then these little hooks here will be in the right orientation, okay? So run that one through, right here, right through that loop there. That's what these loops were made for, okay? Now right here, we know this is the center of the belt, so we can either squeeze it over to here, or we can just put one here, okay? Uh, clip it in there like that, and then we're gonna clip one right here, and that's pretty close to center of the belt, okay? Now pull these back up here like that, okay? And looky there, see you turn your belt over and you're just about in the center of the belt, okay? All right, now these here go to one to the left, to the right. So cross these over the back of the Marine right here, okay? Uh, and then you take this here. This one here is gonna go over here. You're going to take, see, the orientation is correct where this buck will be facing away from the uh, the Marine's body. Then you'll take that one, pop it in there. Take this one, pop it in right there. Okay? Same thing right here. Be sure its orientation is correct. Flip it over. Pop your one right in this hole here. Looks like that'll work nice and good. Okay, uh-oh. We got one that's going to be a little tough on us. I guess we might have to actually look at the back of it to get it going. Okay. And then right here, we'll put it in that one there. There you go. See, so right now, what you have assembled right here is the knapsack pack. Okay. And then you can just put it on. The Marine could wear this just like that, but it assembles just that easy right there. And uh, the whole configuration of this knapsack was so that the Marine could carry a radio backpack or some other uh, means of cargo that he would need to carry. For instance, uh, you know, like a radio backpack or maybe a, a, a pack board loaded down with ammunition or just whatever. But anyway, this was a configuration that uh, the M1941 Marine Corps pack was designed 
to use as this situation. Thank you for watching the Web Gear Review. Hit that like and subscribe button if you would. I would like to encourage all of you who have not subscribed to subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you for watching the Web Gear Review.